A stretch of road in Saudi Daisy has some neighbors frustrated for the safety of their kids getting on and off the school bus. Kelly Curtin tells us about one neighbor who has a front row seat to this very issue. Kelly. Josh and Latricia, he lives right here on Daisy Dallas Road, and he says that he's frustrated with those drivers because of the way they drive on that road, and specifically those who ignore stop school buses basically be a bodyguard. Danny Howard has lived in Saudi Daisy for decades. It's not just the students up there. It's the parents too. His house overlooks Daisy Dallas Road. Besides the congestion, it makes me mad. He says it's a battle to make sure drivers are stopping for school buses. You'll hear the bus driver blowing her horn trying to stop somebody from going through her stop arm. Howard says it's been like this for a couple of years. He took this video one morning last week while he waited for his three grandchildren to get on the bus. You just get run again? No, he was fixing to and I slammed on my horn. No stop. Howard says Saudi Daisy police have patrolled the road, but it only acts as a band-aid. The minute they see a police presence, it all stops until the police are gone. Then it starts right back. He says the problem, high school students use it as a back road to get to this school side entrance. Howard wants to see it closed to help reduce the amount of traffic. It's all the traffic over on Sequoia Road where the school zones are actually at, and that was a road that was meant to carry that traffic. For now, he acts as a bodyguard, making sure his grandkids get to school safely. There's nothing worth killing or maiming a child over, especially just to get someplace because you're running late. I spoke to Saudi Daisy City Manager. She tells me since October 2nd, patrol officers have been out on that road following buses on their route to make sure drivers pay attention. But she says it's hard to find a permanent solution because there are only a certain amount of patrol cars for the area. She encourages all drivers to slow down and, of course, stop for school buses. Latricia. Kelly, thank you. We spoke to school board member Rhonda Thurman today. She says it was passed along how her concerns to the superintendent and the principal of the school. We reached out to the district but have not heard back.